Uh, tonight's comments are on the approval by the Hayward City Council for the continuance of the use permit of the Eaton Youth Center. Does the council offer special privileges to ex-council members? How can the council allow the Eaton Youth Center to continue to operate when Ms. Steele has knowingly or unknowingly carried out a racist attack on Rasta youth through her anti-graffiti committee? While making false promises and totally disrespecting community people, at the same time eating burritos with her Hispanic helpers, Mapa y La Familia, social service leeches. Here, we'll go to a tape and we get to hear some of Mrs. Steele's comments. And I didn't do anything. That, that wall was being held for you. Now you choose, uh, my sin is that I'm not superwoman and I can't do everything all by myself in this city. My sin was to try and I didn't jump fast enough. And my sin is to be interested to constantly get the check one. You are the, I mean, I will talk to people like the soda. I talk to, what's his name, at Ron, uh, uh, what's his name, Ramon Parada. There is nothing but wanting to reach out. And to the reason we find individuals such as Ramon Parada and Ron Soto reaching out to Gail Steele are for their own political gain because of their involvement in MAPA and because of their involvement in La Familia Counseling Center who are known opportunists in the comunidad. Here we speak to Mr. Robert Beltran, and he shares his feelings of Gail Steele's involvement in La Comunidad. Here in the community, she's running, uh, she's running this year, and she's running for the seat of Santana. So to me, it seemed like she wants to get the Latin community's vote, and uh, I feel that maybe she wants to do all that she can to get involved with the Latin community to gain their vo uh, votes uh on that election day okay uh what how do you think that you were treated when you met her at that day uh she didn't meet with me at all she uh she stood outside and she didn't dare come in until everything was over she didn't say anything she just had a very uh awful look on her uh if a look could kill i think all those young men would have been dead and uh, she, you can see that she's a very bitter woman and uh, uh, from her looks. And uh, I feel this way that uh, uh, she may say that she's not, but uh, I feel and I quote Eddie Monroe that she is very prejudiced court, uh, towards the Latin community. Rodrigo Beltran was used as a political football by Gail Steele getting gang members to paint a mural, a tactic that was outlined as a state, by the State Attorney General's report on youth gang violence. Here, Gail Steele appears on Mayor on the Air along with Officer Lloyd Myers. They both indict Raza youth as being antisocial and prone to violence. When someone tried to call, this was Gail's reaction. Hello, would you like to ask a question? Uh, hello? Well, I don't know what they're doing. Okay. Maybe this is gang warfare. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I hear this, but I've never watched somebody take a group of kids and, and take something and twist it around in terms of a negative beyond... I think, I think, when, I think whenever, you make, whenever you make a stereotype and a comment and a fact that 85% of us are criminals, that's very negative. That's twisting the truth, and you are buying. I think. Well, I think. What? What I think. I think what your embarrassment is is that you're heading this committee and they're using you. You don't even know it. No. When we pointed out to Gail that she was being manipulated by the community access team and the state attorney general's report on youth gang violence, this was her reaction. You know, that's so funny because you know something I never heard of the community access team in those terms. Uh, the person who called me had nothing to do with anything. It tells me that they're doing a good job. That is crazy. That is totally this crazy. Report, this report was paid by our money. Through our and tax, I, when I got through, involved in the anti-graffiti campaign, I never heard of any of this stuff. The report nothing. is paid to money at all. The report is paid through our tax dollars to label us as criminals. Uh, young and old, beware. There are city officials out there making promises they cannot keep, so they will look good come election time. 
Raza, beware. These officials are using and abusing our culture, our pride, our young people, and not giving anything in return for our efforts. If a councilwoman named Gail Steele comes to your barrio telling you what a good idea a Hispanic mural would be, watch her. She is only doing it to look good for her campaign to become county supervisor. She is only doing it so she can take credit for cleaning the graffiti off the walls of Hayward, your barrio. Raza, don't get burned like your carnales from Hayward, who were promised a mural nine months ago by Councilwoman Steele and her anti-graffiti committee, and have nothing to show but a drawing they cannot find and 1,728 square feet of ugly brown wall. Raza, we must not let our young artists be used by vote-hungry politicians who have no understanding of us as a people and who are only interested in getting votes to continue their political careers while leaving us, the raza, in the barrios with the real problems, unemployment, racism, poor education, and cultural suppression. Throughout Hayward and Aslan must make people like Gail Steele responsible for burning our youth. We must not let these politicians exist as leeches on our backs, sucking our pride, our culture, and our youth to the point where we are left feeling frustrated and angry. Raza, we must unite our powers and resources to develop and control our own barrios, our own lives. Tonight's tape is to express our shock at the political favoritism that allows Gail Steele to operate a youth center when she politically prostitutes thriving Hispanic politicos and despises Raza youth who express an alternative lifestyle. We will not be part of your continued efforts to control the lives of Raza people. To Mapa y la Familia, as you spread your influence on the Fuller Neighborhood Center, we will report your every move. If you have any calls, you can call 75-4917. Raza beware, and we will go to Stephanie and Sandra for dedication.